All right, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people have been asking me, how, Jay, Jay, how you shoot like you shoot? Why is your jump shot so consistent? What are you doing that, uh, you know, wh like, why, why am I able to hit with people in my face or whatever? Now, the people hitting with people in my face, that's not, that's, that's an illusion. Um, Y'all always hear me say that the ball is gone, you're too late. I, I, it's because I understand how far a person has to be away from you um, in order for you to, um, in order for you to be able to shoot a shot and hit it. But um, that's beside the point. So really, a lot of people want to know how to improve their jump shot. A lot of people don't watch my channel, so it is what it is. The first thing that you got to do when you want to improve your jump shot is this. You got to have your hot spots. That would be the first thing that I do. Now, I shoot without hot spots because uh, for some reason, I don't need them. I'm you know, I'm trying to just switch to the Hall of Fame. I'm green. Um, I don't need them, but um, they are nice to have, and I really wish that I could have them back because I would like to see what I'd be able to do with with my hot spots. My offensive consistency is probably trash. Actually, let's take a look at that because um, I didn't do, let me see, uh, 2K car. Uh, because I didn't do any of them joints, man. So uh, offensive consistency is 40. And my position average is is uh, 67. Let's see defensive consistency. Defensive consistency is 74. It is what it is. Uh, that's just the stock stuff, man. I don't think it goes over the online, but I can tell you that even if it does go over the online, that doesn't matter because, well, for me. For me, it doesn't matter. And I can tell you that it doesn't matter for me because I, um, I just, I hit. I hit jump shots. That's what I do. So, uh, like I said, if you want to, actually, I lied. The number one thing that you want to do if you want to become a better shooter, if you want to become a better sharpshooter, practice, practice, practice. Get in this gym, find yourself a jumper. I'm using Paul George, uh, but that jumper not, might, might not work for you guys. It, it, it may just not, but um, that's what I'm using. To me, it's the wettest jump in the game because it has a tail, and all I got to do when he turns his hand over, all I got to do is let it go. The timing, uh, but like some people like Kobe, like the thing is, the jump shot is not what's going to make you consistent. The timing is going to make it consistent. Uh, I used to watch this guy, Mr. NBA, NBA 2K TV, um, and he said that when, you wanted to, when, you, when you're getting your timing down, what he would do is pop his lips. I, I, I know it sounds sweet than a motherfucker, but dude, it works. So what you do is, when he starts pressing the button, he goes like, and then when he, when he should release it, he goes, and once you do that enough, that timer will get in range like, you see that? Green. When you do that enough, your timer will get to the point. So don't concentrate on the jumper. Don't try to do it with Paul George. Find the jumper that you that you are uh, that you're comfortable with, right? Find the find the jumper that you're comfortable with. Um, figure out the timing, and once you get the timing down, try to lip popping technique. I mean, it works for me. It worked for me uh, to the point where I don't even have to do it anymore. All I do is just look at the, the motion of the player. Uh, some people like to shoot off the meter. I don't shoot off the meter at all. I shoot off my player's uh, mechanics, the bio mechanics. But I leave the meter on just to see where I am or how close I was because I like instant feedback. I used to just get the. I used to shoot with uh, feedback only, but now um, with this meter, I, I think it's better to shoot like. Um, I think it's better just to shoot like this. So find a jumper that you're comfortable with. Um, get yourself a time mechanism, even if you're just tapping your foot or something. Get yourself a time mechanism so you can master that timing. So like like I said, with this I'm going, and most of the time it's going that's going to go in. But whatever the timing is, uh, get that timing down, and and you should be fine. That's number one. Number two. Number three is just you, you just got to get your ass in here and practice, man. So. Um, you know, once you go into my career, get your hot spots, or you don't go into my career here, get your hot spots. Do whatever you're going to do, but you're going to have to just practice, man. You just got to come out here for about an hour or, you know, an hour a day until you get the timing down. Come out here for about an hour a day and just shoot, shoot, shoot from everywhere. You want to know your player's shot from everywhere. This shot used to be the most, used to be the most difficult shot in the game for me. I could not hit that for anything because my timing was just off. It just was. And I know y'all saying, I ain't shoot 13 for 22. Man, y'all don't stop that. Y'all know what I shoot on stream. But anyway, that shot used to be the most difficult shot in the world for me. Listen, you can't get better at something if you don't practice, right? So you have to practice. You've got to practice. Like, you're not going to get better by not doing it. So you got to do it. You just got to get out there and do whatever's hard and just, just practice, practice, practice. 
But like I said, the, the, the biggest thing is find the shot, learn the timing, learn what it looks like when you should release. Because sometimes the timing and what it looks like when you should release, like right there, that didn't match up. So, But I knew that I need to let it go when he turns his hand over or whatever. Um, that's, that's just how I do it. Uh, and another thing is you have to learn and understand how how close people can be to you when you can get a shot off. Like if you're looking at somebody, you sprint to the corner, they bearing down on you, don't panic. You got to realize it ain't real life, it's a video game, right? And we all know this, but some of y'all don't know that, 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 it's, that it's a video game and it ain't real life. So uh, I understand where y'all get, you know, knees weak, palms are sweaty. But what I'm saying is when you go down, when you, when you get here and you see somebody bearing down on you, it doesn't matter if you have decided that you have enough enough room to take that shot. Just take the shot with confidence. Take the shot with confidence and just be like, "Yo, fuck it. He's coming, but he's too late. He, you, you too late. That's what just the mentality you gotta have. Now, don't take a bad shot with somebody yeah, already in your face. But let's say if if somebody's like right here, like standing right here, and you're in the corner, and I'm I'm standing right here. I'm taking this shot every time. There's no way that you can get from the paint to the corner. Like, they're going to jump and it's going to look like they can get there and you're going to think the game bullshit at you because they counted it as a challenge. Dog, it's not going to affect your shot at all. So just learn your spacing. Another thing with sharpshooters, you got to learn routes too, man. So, like, um, one route that I like to do is, let me, I'm just trying to put the ball down. One route that I like is uh, everybody knows, it. damn, I splashed that shit. Everybody knows this route, run straight down and run run to the corner and get the ball. Everybody knows that route. Now, you might have to just try some different routes. You might have to come down, go to the corner. When you see the guy coming, cut back door. He's going to be there. Go back up to the top. Somebody probably be up here. Go across the top. Go here. Like, you just want to keep moving. When they're moving towards you, you want to kind of wait till the last second. As soon as they start closing out, that's when you want to take off on their ass. Because we all know uh, the reason that left-right is so effective in this game is because of the lag. So when you think you're closing out on somebody, you're not. I mean, they already have moved. So that's why people left-right. They just wait for you to come because they know they can't react. And they'll probably think that's some legit basketball move. You don't see nobody damn left-right in the gym. I mean, you might see them doing some, a bunch of dumbass dribbles, but you don't see nobody left-right in the gym. But anyway, like I said, man, that's it. You just want to get your hot spots together. Find the jumper just that, that 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 find the jumper that has the time. Fuck what it looks like. Find the jumper that has the timing that you like. Cause I can shoot this shit with my eyes closed. I can shoot that shit with my eyes closed, though. I don't have to. I've told y'all this before. That's that's how good I've gotten with this jump shot. So it is what it is. Find the jumper that has timing that you're comfortable with. Number two, figure out what spots you like to shoot from. Figure out your spacing. Number three, practice, 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 practice. And when you're done practicing, practice some more. And, uh, you know, and number five, just take smart shots. That's it. Like, just because just because somebody's bearing down on you. Other players can't make shots with other people, with people bearing down on them. If you're a sharpshooter, you got catch and shoot, uh, dead eye, and uh, limitless range, all those bands is working for you, corner specialists, everything like that. Dude, somebody bearing down on you is not going to bother your shot unless they're too close. And they might be too close. I mean, check it out. Look, I keep telling y'all this. I shoot 60% almost from the field. I shoot 50% from three. And uh, in the park, I shoot 64% from the field and almost 60% from three. So, I mean, you got other people out there. I bet not, I'm, I'm pretty sure anonymous shot percentage is about the same because he takes smart shots. But I'm just using him just because his name starts with A. Look. Anonymous shoots, uh, that's, that's career. In the park, look, almost 60% from the field, and he shoots 44% from three. But Anonymous seeing like he don't, oh, that pro am, my bad. Um, anonymous seeing like he don't miss, there we go. Uh, look at that, 70% from the field. That's IQ, that's nothing but smart shots, and 53% from three. All right, so let's take somebody that we don't know, Ayo. Let's look at Ayo. Let's see what Ayo shoots in the park. I'm just using people for reference, I ain't trying to, you know, Look at that, field goal percentage, 39% from three and 57% uh, from the field. So you see, 
you see, uh, Kobe Sosa probably one of the, he probably got one of the highest IQs of anybody I know that, that we play with, really. Look at that. Yeah, you can see it. Look at Kobe Sosa shoots 70% from the field and 61% from three. But I'm going to tell you what, Kobe don't take a shot unless he know he's going to hit it because uh, that's, that is what it is. Chris Dizzy. I'm just showing, you know, I'm just showing you guys some people. Well, he, he probably is a big man. He's a powerful center. But it's 50-some percent from the field. Uh, sight the Jedi. And then after that, we're going to get off. Uh, part, 53% from the field, 46% from three. So I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, but Sight don't even really play. Sight play pro am more than anything. So 57% uh, and 55%. Uh, so you see what I'm saying? All of it is just about IQ. You know what I'm saying? Take good shots. Um, take good shots. Learn your player. Learn your shot. But most of all, practice, 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 practice. You're not going to get better by not doing something. But anyway, man, I'm not ready to talk too long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll holler at y'all next time. So till next time, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! And uh, y'all let me know what y'all want me to do next. I'm going to do a defensive tutorial, but I'm going to need somebody to come into the mock court and help me out with that. Um, if you want to do that and you on Xbox, let me know. And uh, like I said, Anonymous said he's going to be ready for PlayStation this weekend, so we're going we gonna to take PlayStation, PlayStation by storm this weekend. And uh, we will announce the winner of the jerseys too uh, later on. And I'm out. Peace.